Welcome back everyone to the Netlib GDX development tutorials. In today's video, we'll be discussing bitmap fonts. So if we look at the libgdx docs, I will have the link in the description. We can go over to where it says code and it will bring us to the GitHub page of the fonts. And again, I will have a link in the description, but we'll be discussing several constructors that you can implement your own fonts. Next is a tool that we need to install called Hyro, which is a packing tool for making bitmap fonts. I will have a link in the description towards this page. As we scroll down, we can download it right here by clicking on here. We can double click the jar file. And then what we're going to do, we're going to save the default, which is going to be Arial. And as you can see, we can choose the file size, the bold and italic. We can also choose the effects that we want on the font, but we're going to go up to the top left and we're going to save fonts. And then we're going to choose a file that we want to save in. For us, we're going to override this one. So first, you don't actually have to implement a texture as the texture is already provided with the font file. But if you do want to add filter configurations, we'll change the blurriness of the font. So in this case, we have a defined texture and then we set the filter type, which is nearest nearest. The font texture is going to be pixels. And then we load in the fonts file that was generated by the Hyro packing tool. Then next we scale the data and then we go down, we render it. And then finally we dispose the object. The results look like when we set the font filter type to be nearest nearest. How do I change my font from not being blurry? And it's actually very simple because if we go back to IntelliJ and we can see where it says nearest nearest. So by by default, fonts will have their filter type to be linear, either in code or in file. You have to manually set it to nearest nearest. If I rerun the application, you can see that the font type is actually not pixels, but instead it's blurry. Fonts to be really huge and you don't want to show the pixelated aspect. But if you're making more of a retro game, then you may want to have your fonts to be to nearest nearest. Now, if we take a look at the bitmap font class, we can see that we're actually using the third constructor. The second constructor sets web whether we want the font to be flipped. The third constructor on which we are using passes in a font file and then a texture region or even pass in a font data object, which I'll talk about that later. If we go back to the class and then we go to last parameter and we set this to true, this right here will flip the font, rerunning the application font is now flipped upside down. The font data class is a special class used to load the data for the bitmap font. The second constructor takes in two parameters, which is the font file and whether if it's flipped. Now to load a font passing into the bitmap font constructor, we can make changes to the code here. So we can delete the texture and then we can delete these extra parameters, setting the font F and T file towards the bitmap font constructor. But the only changes is that probably be linear but it looks to be right now it's actually nearest nearest if you want to change it you would have to pass in the new image or the texture region and edit the filter type so as before we set it to three floats and then we can set it to one float so this right here will make the font smaller so if we rerun the application we can see that the font has changed to a smaller scale. All right, everyone, that wraps up everything in today's video. I hope you learned something new on how to fix blurry fonts and as well implementing into your application. I will have a link in the description towards the GitHub repository as well as the links towards libgdx. Have a good one.